Police engaging in discrimination, extreme violence, and criminal activity has made headlines across the country. As a result, law enforcement has spent millions of dollars on new training. So when training videos surfaced with what many described as teaching sexist and racist behavior, it got the attention of state officials up north. Action News Jack's Megan Moriarty found the company behind it has moved to Florida, and we want to warn you some of the language you're about to hear you may find disturbing. I love violence, I love fighting, I love shooting. It's a 75-year-old black man, and I'm like, ugh. This is not video from before the civil rights movement. Or even from decades ago, it's street cop training. The company calls itself the fastest growing law enforcement training in the country, changing the world of law enforcement by properly educating police officers on what they can do. It's the wild, wild west, south, wherever. You don't believe me? Run from Georgia State Patrol. Its training tactics have been called into question. It's banned in nine states, according to court filings. But Action News Jax has learned street cop training is now welcome here in Florida. The company posted on Facebook, me and the company moved to Florida. It was nice to be welcomed with open arms and even encouraged to come here. They needed a new place after New Jersey helped push them out with this 43-page report released last December. It found street cop training glorified violence and an excessive militaristic or warrior approach to policing. The report refers directly to this six-day conference October 2021 in Atlantic City. Somewhere along the chase becomes... <laughs> It found more than 100 discriminatory and harassing remarks. If you're trying to get a little booty boo poo nanny poo tang, whatever the hell you call it, okay, there is an approach. I'm not the one with the one inch. Adding there were repeated references to speaker's genitalia, lewd gestures, and demeaning quips about women and minorities. I sat down and watched some of these videos with our Action News Jax Law and safety expert Dale Carson. He's a former Miami police officer and FBI instructor. One of the primary goals of teaching, instructing police is to keep their attention. And so you tend to say things that you certainly wouldn't want to say in public. Do you think in watching that video, in those videos, do you think that those conferences are teaching aggressive, deadly or dangerous tactics? What I saw from the snippets is something that I wouldn't want the public to know I was watching or using as a training device. I wouldn't want that. After the report was released, Street Cop Training founder Dennis Benino posted this video to YouTube. I personally take responsibility and apologize for any inappropriate or offensive language that was used by a few of our instructors in the 2021 training session. He was one of the instructors mentioned numerous times in the report. I'm not talking about the guy who's recording you like, oh, I am not a citizen of the United States under Act 12, 6, up, right? That'd be a pepper spray, haze, windows broken out, Benino was listed as a speaker at the street cop training conference this month in Orlando. We asked him how he's changed the training, but he did not respond. We took the two hour drive down to the five day sold out conference at the Gaylord Palms Resort and Convention Center. Could we talk to you a little bit about the conference? I don't agree with the statements made um, about the conferences that they've had. Uh, I've heard some of them about them saying that they incite violence. That's not what we're here for. It's absolutely not. And I, I strongly disagree with that. Sergeant Michael Bodkin with the Baker County Sheriff's Office asked to attend. We're not out here to hide anything from the public. We're here to make sure that what we're doing is for the betterment of everybody. The St. Johns County Sheriff's Office also went sending five deputies, including a supervisor. After we reached out, they say they will evaluate the training and discuss future attendance. The Nassau County Sheriff's Office said they didn't send anyone, adding we do not use any training associated with Street Cop. The company provided a demo for us last summer, but we decided not to use them. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says this is not a vendor. JSO has utilized at this point, and it did not send anyone to Orlando. But Action News Jax obtained these billing records showing JSO paid for three of its officers to attend street cop training in the past on the taxpayer dime. This was in 2021 and 2022 before it was banned in other states. As for our law expert, as a former police trainer looking at those videos, would you use them? I wouldn't use them. Putnam and Clay County said they did not send anyone to the conference and do not use their current online training videos. 
We also reached out to Street Cop Training for a statement, but we haven't heard back.